Hey your friends, this is Sol here with some add-ons to help you out as you dive into Dragonflight. Check the description below the video for direct links to every add-on. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and use the navigation thing to get you where you want to go. Now many of you may know by now that I tend to cover the same add-ons over and over again, and that's because they're great, and because we regularly get new folks coming in as well. So let's first go over these regularly recommended add-ons, and I'll try to be brief. Nameplate scrolling combat text has been my go-to for displaying damage done. It's great because it gives subtle indicators of where your damage is coming from. A quick tip, in the settings, check the display overkill box. Since this add-on depends on nameplates, by default you can't see the last hit that you deal to a mob because the nameplate disappears. This ensures that it pops up and then you can see how much you overkilled the mob. Details is still my favorite for damage tracking, although when I really think about it, I don't know if there are any other damage tracking things left. Plater is more than what anyone could ask for in a nameplate add-on, but thanks to being able to easily import profiles and tweak nameplates to your preference, I can't turn myself away from using this. Sorted is my bag add-on of choice. It lets me look at my personal inventory as a list, as opposed to icons, which makes looking through bags way easier for me. You can use the filters to quickly display certain item types or to customize your own filters. Blizzmove is an almost essential quality of life add-on because it lets you move just about any window you want and also resize them for temporary visibility or to maybe take screenshots. Pair this up with Demodal, which lets you open up numerous windows without one closing another, so you can make a mess of your windows all you want. The drawback with Demodal is that windows will no longer push each other out of the way, so there's kind of a bit of getting used to. All the Things tracks everything and everything that you have not collected. Definitely something you're going to encounter in a new expansion. You can see what you're missing on enemy tooltips, which will make you think twice about whether that rare mob is worth killing. Buy a Mall is the best way to purchase the exact quantity of a thing that you want via shift click. It's a must have for crafters who buy in bulk. Aardvark is my go-to for auto-selling and auto-destroying things that I don't need. And finally, Minimap Button Bag squishes all of your Minimap buttons into a single pulldown. Now let's get to some newer and notable add-ons for Dragonflight. Unlimited Map Pin Distance is another classic recommendation of mine, but it's especially important for Dragonflight. It's been a few expansions now, but with Dragonflight War back on a single landmass, and the zones are huge. Being able to see map pins at a distance greater than 1,000 yards is a must, and, well, very common. The use of this add-on will keep your eyes on the screen while dragon riding as opposed to checking your map every couple of seconds. Also use the auto tracking add-on on the settings so you can quickly get to objectives that the quest tracker is able to follow. Better fishing is extremely simple. It creates an action that you can bind to a key via the key bindings menu and this button will then cast a line and click the bobber with no need for a mouse to aim your cursor. Now I want you to think about this, like seriously, listen up. You no longer need to look at your screen. There's no clicks, there's no weird shenanigans because this add-on uses the new interact button to loot the bobber. It's so busted that it won't surprise me if Blizzard fixes this real quick in a bad way. But for now, pop on a movie, keep your volume up, and fish your heart out. Colorful Micro Menu is so far the simplest solution that i found for people who don't like the Micro Menu and the bag bar being ever present. All it does is hide these elements until you mouse over. And then when you do mouse over, it's got pretty colors on it to identify what is what. Easy. If that's too easy though, Blizzard HUD Tweaks offers a boatload of customization while still sitting on top of the stock UI, so there's less room for add-on conflicts. With this add-on, you can adjust faders for both action bars and unit frames, even tweak the unit frame's text display. Now if that's a bit too much for you, mouse over action bars is a very simple add-on I featured before that offers the bare minimum functionality. I don't usually recommend add-ons that are kind of broken, but Talent Loadout Reminder is an honorable mention. You tell it what your talent loadout is for situations like raids, PvP, dungeons, and so on. Then when you enter those situations, the add-on will check if you are in those assigned loadouts, and if you're not, it's going to give you a very obvious reminder. Now the coverage isn't very exhaustive. If you have more than one kind of dungeon loadout, the add-on will only pay attention to the one that you assigned it to. Also, one that does remind you that you're in the wrong spec, the button to change you to the right spec doesn't even work. I, I know it sucks, but I'm still going to give it a point for at least informing you. 
Handy Notes is pretty much ready for a Dragonflight's launch, from rares to treasures to even dragon riding glyphs, since I've already done my share of exploring for those glyphs, I'm gonna shamelessly use this to quickly upgrade my dragon riding day one of the expansion. Bye Bye XP Bar is for people who don't like looking at the bar. That's it. Reputation Watcher is for people who do like looking at the XP Bar, at least when it's tracking reputation. This simple add-on will auto-track the last reputation that you earned rep from, so turning in a Dragon Scale Expedition token will immediately show you where your progress is on the XP Bar. Enhanced Raid Frames is another add-on that sits on top of the stock UI, providing a ton of useful information for you and your team regardless of your role. All I was looking for personally was a way to see raid markers on people again. This does that and a lot more, so it's going to take some time for me to tweak this for easy raid callouts. Rare Scanner is still my champion for finding rares and treasures. It's loud, it's reliable, and requires no additional setup. And here's a neat one. Mount Tooltip tells you what mount a player is riding on when you mouse over them. Now, it's not going to work out so great during Dragonflight because most of us are going to be using the same four mounts, but when the opportunity is there, you can easily identify the mount at a glance. Since we're at it, TipTac remains my tooltip add-on of choice now that it's being updated again. It's got tons of options, but out the box, it displays all sorts of useful information. Talent Tree Tweaks and Talent Tree Viewer are useful add-ons for the more competitive player. Imagine someone mid-raid who sees their counterpart doing more DPS and they're like, huh, I wonder if I can use their talent loadout. This add-on will let you export the player's talent build after inspecting them, and then import it to your own loadout. Or let's say you're on a different class altogether, you can use Talent Tree Viewer to examine the build and then discuss just how their build is way better than what you thought of. I don't really use weak auras, but there's only been one weak aura that assists with dragon riding, and it's simply called Dragon Riding UI. Once it's added, it changes the regular looking display into, well, this well kind of boring looking, very utilitarian style that shows your vigor charges, but more importantly, your speed and your acceleration. The speed is easy enough to understand. It's based on your movement across the horizontal plane, and it doesn't factor in climbing or descending. There's also a meter that indicates your rate of acceleration. When it's past the halfway mark, it means that you're pitched at an angle that makes you gain speed. If it's behind the mark, then you're slowing down. The weak aura isn't complete, it's kind of broken. Like at one point there was a way to measure your actual pitch, but that's been busted on WoW's end, and hopefully that'll be fixed. Otherwise, this is a useful weak aura that can serve as training wheels, with additional information to inform you before dragon riding feels natural enough that you don't need something like this. And that's about all I've got. There's a ton more add-ons to feature, but as you know, I tend to bump newer add-ons that not everyone knows about. So I hope this helps you and our fellow add-on creators. If you know of any obscure add-ons that you think aren't getting enough attention, mention them in the comments. We're all here to help each other out. You can do me a favor by liking this video and subscribing for more content. Thanks for coming, and until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.